Hey guys, what's up? My name is Aries. This is Aries Atelier, and today we are doing more of a theory type of thing. Okay, normally we do tutorials and practicals, but I notice that the questions I get asked sometimes are more on the theory side. So today I'm going to address how I actually come up with the dimensions for my three piece gusset. And my three piece gusset, I mean, let me see. Okay, this is one um, bag I made recently. It's the one where you have the side, the bottom, and the other side, and you sort of join the three pieces, then you join it to your front and back piece. For more, I don't know, reference, this is also a three piece. You see, when you look at it from the side, you see the way it sort of dips in. Okay, so if you guys have seen it on my old videos, you know how I put the measurements for this one, but we're going to use the measurements for this small bag. I'm going to write it here and I'll show you guys how I came up with these types of gussets. So the purse itself was 18 centimeter for the base, 12 centimeter for the height. And because it's a very small purse, I am using six centimeter for the depth. I don't know if you can see this clearly because we're going to now go on. And so when you are generating your pieces for this, I'm going to draw this a little smaller. I'm going to have to zoom in later. So first you take your front piece. This one now, we're just doing like an open top tilt bag. It's when you want to do flaps and you start adding but Since the focus of the day is the gussets, we can go into that. If you guys want to see more, you can put it in the comment section and I'll show you guys how I add um, the length for the flap and all those other things. But this is the focus now, is the gusset, the three piece gusset. That is the focus. So it's, it comes up like this. Yes. Okay, so this is our bag now to get the bottom piece first of all we start with you're going to write it inside here 18 by 6 so this is your base but to make the three piece gusset you are adding two centimeter to the width and as you are adding two centimeter to the width you are removing two centimeter from either side. So instead of 18, this is now going to drop to um, 14. So you're now going to have shorter. So instead of six, you now had, um, so let me, let me write it, two plus six plus two. So it means that for the side, you're not going to get 10. And this is where the sense comes in. Where's the press itself? So, you are removing, let me, I don't know if you can see this clearly. So you are removing two centimeter like this because you want it to sit inside and sort of hide behind the bag. And you are adding two centimeter because you want it to do like this. So for the bottom, just bear it in mind. And this means that what, whatever size this is, or whether it's wide or slim or long, or if you know that you want this, because this is two centimeter now, like this, from the edge to here, from the edge to here is two centimeter. So just know that if your gusset is two centimeter or 1.5 or anything, you are just going to add extra, add here, add here, then remove from the sides. And I'm going to show you why very soon. So this is for the bottom piece. Let me just write it at the bottom here. Then the sides, that's when the wala will now start. Don't forget this one, we're working with two centimeter. So, you know, you usually see it cut like this. It's not have like two little legs here like this. You don't have like two little legs. I don't know if you guys can see it. Wow, this is a rough, rough piece. So the height of your bag is 12 centimeter here. This, okay, let me just draw it inside so that you see. So this, this piece inside like this is... The side of your bag so when you now say six this is six here this is six here the way you added two centimeter here and here you are adding it here and here so it means that it will now be two plus six plus two which will now give you the same ten centimeter but the only thing now is that, unlike this one that you added and removed, this one you're just going to leave the height like this. So you just add here and here. So here to here, you're not changing the height. 
you're just going to come inside and notch it you are cutting two centimeter inward i'm going to explain it again i'm going to su summarize the whole thing so you have your six centimeter here you are just adding two two then cutting out the bottom because if you make a mistake and add two centimeter to the entire height it's going to be too long i used to make this mistake a lot so let me clean these lines off so you're going to add two centimeter to the width of your bag so this one that's just saying six by 12 you're going to add that's four now two two making it ten then the entire height which is 12 this is your side piece and anything you are doing you are cutting too this is the interface i'm using for my next um tutorial so i'm just going to quickly show you guys how they look when you cut them so forget all the many many numbers usually when you wipe most of your workings and you come up with something as simple as this they should look like this so what i meant is that this is the height of your bag i don't know if you can see it clearly so this is the height of your bag this is your side piece now this <laughs> side piece this is the height of your bag you're not increasing the length you're just coming to notch your two centimeter off the bottom here and this and this they're going to sort of lay on the side you can see the way it rolls out like this your allowance is needed so you give that 3d <laughs> oh my god this stiffener is really tough and it should be able to bend so let's just fold this one out but this is why you needed that drop let's zoom in and this is why you need it since this is, this is just stiffness but usually if you wrap it in material so it's just going to be like this and you sew your front piece and your back piece is when you look at it from the side you see why all that allowance was necessary so your bag is going to look like this because this is like the front piece or right? this is one of the pieces so even after doing all this you still have to come and check with your patterns so this is this is like a rough like a rough idea of what's what's going to look like and these are the numbers are very important because if your numbers don't match your bag the pieces might not sit well so after all this plenty um writings and calculations and all it means that our bottom has now gone from 18 by 6 to 14 by 10 so a cleaner piece will now be this our bottom piece has gone from 18 by 6 to 14 by 10 so you remove two you add two and same for our side piece here which has which was 6 by 12 it has now gone to let me draw it again this remains 12 this is the only one that changed and now becomes 10 because you added the two centimeter on either side i know you have a lot of questions so just put it in the comment section i will answer you so this one now you cut two pieces this one you cut just one and oh where are my black markers and don't forget no matter what these are just know that if you're using um gusset allowance of two centimeter it's two centimeter here it's two centimeter there if it's 1.5 you can also do that too so whether your bag is square or portrait or wide or whichever one as long as you're making this three piece gusset it's actually going to be the same method all through the only change is when maybe you want to make it like um Maybe a little rounded at the ends that one just means that you're going to just round up only here this one stays the same you're only rounding up this side so if instead of square now let me see if it rounds up a bit so that's when you now start rounding up this side too because it's the same principle that you're going to use for the two sides of them so i know you obviously have questions i hope i was able to explain this as much as i could I just hope I did not make it more confusing. But if you have questions, if you have opinions, if you have tips that could actually help 
make this easier for other people you can actually share it in the comment section don't forget to like and subscribe thank you for watching this video and i will see you in my next post